Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video is the first in a new series that I'm going to be making um, every week now. It is Workout Wednesday, which is a very uncreative name, but it's a good way for me to get out uh, content every week. This is not all I'll be posting. I'll try and post other stuff as well, but I thought it was a good way to get some extra content uh, out to you guys. And uh, if you guys need a workout, you can just go ahead. And I'm, I'm posting uh, sets and reps and uh, the full exercise. And so this is the first one, and I hope you enjoy. All right, before we get into today's video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And uh, also give this video a like. All right, in today's workout, we'll be doing a pull day. And the first exercise is going to be deadlift. And we'll be doing a 5x5. Five All right, so pretty solid first exercise with the deadlift. Make sure you choose a weight that you can perform uh, for all five sets. For our next lift, we're gonna be doing bent over row, uh, five sets again, 10 to 12 reps this time. This time you wanna go a little bit closer to failure, probably two reps away, one rep away for most of the sets, and then for the last, last one or two, you can go to failure. Alright, on to our third exercise. We have single arm DB row. And uh, we're going to do four sets this time of 12 reps. Last set to failure. So let's jump right in. All right, moving on to exercise number four, we have straight arm pull down, uh, four sets of 20 to 25 reps. Make sure you do slow and controlled reps uh, so that you can get good contractions in your back. All right, on to our final exercise or exercises of this pull day. We have a superset with plate curl of three sets of 15, and we have DB curl, supinated curl, three sets of 10 on each side. Now, the plate curl is going to target more of your outside bicep, and the supinated DB curl will target your inner bicep. So make sure that when you're contracting your muscles, you can feel it in that area. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this back and bicep workout. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel to help me hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And uh, we'll see you later.